Yo, yo, here we are. It is, what day is it? It's Sunday, but this will not be going up on a Sunday. Probably it'll be going up on some other day. And we're talking about the OG, original Star Wars, now called A New Hope. But when it was released, it was just Star Wars. And was released in 1977, directed by George Lucas, and became the biggest film of all time at the time. Grossed over $700 million, almost $800 million to become the highest grossing film, overtaking Jaws, which only grossed around, well, not only, but grossed around 400 million. So yeah, massive, one of the biggest movies of all time, one of the best movies of all time, everyone knows. And we're going to give our thoughts on the movie. What are your thoughts, Cleese, if that even is your real name? What are you talking about? Star Wars. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Uh, don't want to talk about it. <laughs> no. Um, of course I do. Of course I do. <sighs> enthusiastic i'm just gonna get straight to it the we've never really been able to watch the original version oh, very original. <laughs> the original version of star wars we've only really grown up with the special editions where it's been overrun with shitty special effects and yes. additions thanks george han no longer I, they've re-edited the Han shooting first like scene about 58 times, yeah. times it's insane so i think Originally he shot first, and then they changed it, so... They shot at the same time. And I don't even know. I don't know what is on there. What is it on like, there? I'm not sure. I don't but, think anyone shoots anymore. But yeah, the special editions have kind of just... Uh, it really just annoys me that we can't watch the original version of the movie. They can't just remaster that version. I mean, it must be out there somewhere. Yeah, or at least have the option for you to choose between them. But yeah, I just wanted to get that out of the way. Because it, it just annoys me every time I watch it, knowing that this isn't, like, the OG version of the film yeah. that everyone loved, and George Lucas has to keep changing it for no reason. But, whatever. What's done is done, and hopefully someday I can finally watch the OG version. There we'll probably start, is some. Start with the plot, though. Just a quick... Start with the view. plot. It begins right after Rogue One finishes. They've got the Death well, Star. We didn't know that at the time. Oh, yeah, but... In chronological order, right yep. after Rogue One finishes, yep. the Death Star plans are on a rebel ship. C three Pro and R two D two are there after the events of Revenge of the Sith. Yes. They're just tagging along because, of course, they are. And the stormtroopers break in and search for the rebel plans, and Darth Vader decides not to take them out, take out the rebels himself. Yeah, like he, like he <laughs> did five minutes earlier. No, when you're watching it chronologically, it's like, yeah, five minutes ago, Darth Vader literally took out, like, a whole squad of rebels yeah. in Rogue One, and then now it's just... Yeah. But uh, who cares? It's, you can't hold it against this movie. But Princess Leia has sent the rebel plans with R2-D2 onto Tatooine, where they meet Luke Skywalker, the protagonist of the original trilogy, the son that we don't know yet, of Anakin... And, yeah, it's pretty much a story about him, because I think, I'm not sure if in canon, or, like, if he is actually the chosen one, or is it Anakin? No, it's Anakin. Because at the end of episode six, Anakin does, I guess, bring, like, we'll get to it, but bring balance or whatever, but, I mean, Luke Skywalker, I don't know. Luke Skywalker is just a beast as well, played by Mark Hamill, the god and yeah the whole story is about them trying to rescue princess leia from the clutches of the empire just a real good adventure type story i think it's pretty just straightforward they've got to rescue a princess from an evil base and yeah. there's a big evil lord vader <laughs> and yeah they've got the original death star which was an original idea at the time this has been i've used a few more times yeah but <laughs> that's yeah, just it's just the ultimate weapon really this is the ultimate base that can just destroy planets. It should be. And is... But, you know, the one flaw. But, yeah. So, Luke Skywalker comes across Obi-Wan Kenobi. Not Ewan McGregor, because... No. Well, he would have been alive probably at this time, but young. Yeah. Too young to be in this film. It's so, we've got Alec, Alec Guinness. Alec World Record. Alec World... <laughs> Alec Guinness World Records plays Obi-Wan Kenobi in the original film. He was actually Oscar nominated for this role. As well. So, as uh, Obi. No, no, but like, what category? Uh, supporting. supporting yeah, yeah, supporting actor. And he's basically training. Uh, he gives like a little bit of training along the way, but the main story is, yeah, them trying to get Princess Leia. Which, you know, they go. Oh, yeah, first of all, they go to Moss Eisley. Cantina. Cantina, which is 
one of the most iconic scenes of the movie. Uh, th- this is, I mean, the Han shooting first is kind of a piece of shit, but dun 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 <laughs> the music, Lego Star Wars, and Han did shoot first. This scene, I mean, leading up to it when they're driving in, there's so much shitty CGI that they've added into the background yeah. that looks like the Phantom Menace. But once they actually get into the cantina, like, it's all practical aliens and shit, which is just... It just makes me wonder why they felt the need to add in all the shitty special effects. And yeah, Han agrees to take them on the Millennium Falcon, but is interrupted by Greedo because Jabba the Hutt Han did something to fuck him off, and he basically has to repay him with the money he's going to make from transporting Luke and shit around. He's got to pay it back to Jabba the Hutt, because otherwise he's gonna his life will be on the line. And he's informed of that by Greedo. Goes to shoot him, but depending what version you're watching, who knows what the fuck happens. Anyway, the heroes of the story go to the Death Star, disguise themselves as stormtroopers, Princess Leia escapes, they then have a plan with the Rebel Alliance to blow up the Death Star, they do so, you know, we all know the story, we all love it, and yeah, this movie is actually just one of the best ever made, and it holds up so incredibly well, if we're talking about the original stuff, it's crazy how they add special effects in later that look worse than what's originally in the movie. Yeah, it would have been so much better if they just had what was the original effect but yeah like just from the opening scene alone when we've got that star destroyer following the rebel ship it's like fuck these effects hold up so well and they still do throughout the whole movie all the practical aliens and everything it's just there's so many phenomenal ideas in this movie like just all the alien races all the different locations everything and we got obviously darth vader's one of the most iconic villains I'd ever. I'd argue, like, the most iconic. Probably the most. Just the look of him and everything. We don't really know much about him at all from this movie, but it's expanded upon in later... later releases. And, uh, yeah, it's just such an enjoyable movie. And the ending of it is just... The action still holds up to this day. And, like I said, it's just a really good adventure movie. Luke Skywalker is learning the Force kind of a bit in this movie, but not that much. And, yeah. Excellent performances all round. Yes. And the score yeah. by John Williams, I'm oh. pretty sure, was Oscar winning, and it's just iconic. So good. Everyone recognises so the Star Wars score. But, yeah. Nominated for 10 Oscars, including Best Pitch and won 7, I'd say, mostly for the technical shit, like the visuals and production. I don't... What can we say about Star Wars? It's just... It's just... It's just... It's just so good. It's just so good. So iconic. Changed how movies are seen forever. And I remember... Well, it I probably don't is one of the most important movies of all time. Oh, 100%. Especially for sci-fi. you got so many movies trying to copy off it and replicate it. Like the new trilogy. Yeah. Uh, but we... What was I going to say? At the time, no one thought this was going to be a success. George Lucas thought he was going to make this movie and it was going to fail terribly. And it went on to become, at the time, the biggest movie of all time. And adjusted for inflation, so when you, you know, transfer the dollars to today's thing, it's still the second highest grossing film in North America, and fourth of all time. That's insane. Which just shows how big it really was at the time. It just took the world by storm, and for good reason. Everything about this movie is pretty much iconic. The characters, the music, just the sets, the locations. I feel like if you asked anyone to like name a movie, Star Wars, like, in the world. Yeah. Star Wars would probably be one of the probably most. Probably just as the biggest movie of all time. Like, as far as the history of it and what it did for oh, yeah, movies definitely. in general and everything. And, yeah, it's just, it's just such a good movie. We didn't even talk about the death of Kenobi. Oh yeah, so yeah, Ewan McGregor actually dies in this movie. Kind of. Not Ewan, Alec. World record. Alec could be one, Kenobi. He dies to become one with the Force, so he, he can... He be stronger than he than Vader will ever be. Or so, so one of his lines. It's kind of along those lines. Only the master of evil, Darth. <laughs> I, was, I was talking about this with one of my mates the other day. It's like, where he just calls him Darth. It's just so weird. Yeah. Like, imagine if in the end of Return of the Jedi or just in anything, they like, like Yoda called Sidious Darth. It's like, Would Darth. he know him as Darth, though? Like, <laughs> I know, like, 
You think he'd just call them Anakin? But I mean, they hadn't really. They, yeah. They, oh, they were just giving away everything. So. Yeah, that's true. But it's just funny that he calls them Darth after everything they've been through. It's bloody hilarious to me. But yeah. Obi Wan dies to become one of the four so he can watch over Luke and. And a great lightsaber duel. Uh, today, see, when you've watched later movies. Rogue One, especially. The action. Not really the action, just the lightsaber duels, because I still think all this, like, space battles and shit all holds up really oh, well. Oh, yeah, definitely. But just, yeah, the lightsaber battle in this is kind of mediocre. It just really looks like two old guys just playing with sticks, which it was. But, I mean. Yeah. You can't really hold it against that because this was the first movie ever and they didn't really know where it was going to go. Well, this wasn't the first movie ever. Well, first Star Wars movie yeah. ever. But yeah, the lightsaber, someone re edited it to look more modern, but I mean, oh, is it, it doesn't really bother me that much because when this came out, I don't think people, like, lightsaber battles weren't really that, you know. That's true. It's not seen the same as I'd say it is now. But the yeah, death of Obi, and. But it I, is, like, funny when you go back and watch, like, um, Rogue One. And then it's like genuinely like an hour later. Like if you're watch yeah, if you're watching it in order, you can definitely tell like this isn't up to that yeah, the lightsaber related shit isn't up to the standard. But I mean, you know, you know. Yeah, I, I, who cares really? It's I'll just, let it slide this time. It's, it's part of the charm of old watching old movies. And yeah. The Death Star is exploded by Luke Skywalker. He is he, I don't know if he leads a group of rebels, but he kinda does. But I think he ends up as the only one left. Han Solo swoops in to knock Darth Vader out the way, and Luke uses the Force. He doesn't need his little binocular vision thing to aim. He uses the Force, which is really the first instance of him kind of pretty much yeah. becoming a Jedi. Well, not Jedi, but you know, Force user to blow up the Death Star. Which, you know, you'd think that would be the end of the Empire, but they they just don't die, really. They just don't die. And at the end of the movie, uh, Leia gives Luke Han, Luke and Han medals, but not Chewbacca, because racist. fuck them. They're racist, racist against Wookiees. Ra- Chewbacca's is looked over for the, you know, every single movie from what he does, just because he's not a man, I guess. Which is some bullshit. But yeah, I don't really have heaps, to, cause just because these movies are so old, they've been talked about for ages, about them being the best movies and everything. I'm just such iconic. But yeah. So uh, iconic. New Hope is iconic as fuck. It started it all, and just thank God. Thank God that George Lucas was making good a good movie here, instead of what he would go on to it's crazy that he wrote the dialogue for this movie and the prequels as well like they seem entirely different yeah because I find in this movie the ensemble of like especially Han and Luke like they're banter back and forth like they get along real well while also having like chat between them yeah like it's so much different than the prequels eh? but um yeah, the characters in this movie are actually likeable, feel like real people, and that's what I love about it, really. They're kind of just normal people in this larger-than-life situation. And, yeah, they pull it off, and it's great. Harrison Ford, this kind of kick-started his career and keep landing a bunch of iconic roles after this. Even though he wanted death straight away. Yeah, but, I mean, eventually he got it, and we'll talk about that later. 20th Century Fox, rest in peace, not yet in the timeline of these movies, or when this came out, but now, Disney have taken over. But yeah, I don't really have really anything else to say about Star Wars, apart from it is one of the greatest movies of all time, it yeah. shaped the land of cinematic creations forever. The land of everything. The land of the galaxy, and a long time ago, in a galaxy far, far, a far away. Far away this happened and it is great but yeah that's I don't have anything else to say really no 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 yeah. <laughs>